Good morning, Metcalf, and welcome back to my weekly update. It's week four, starting of distance learning. What we know right now is that we have at least two weeks left of distance learning and possibly more. Probably this week, we will find out more from the governor on what his plans are for the state. If you've been watching the news, what you found out is that when things do reopen, they are still enforcing social distancing as an expectation. So even the outdoor activities that have been reopened, golf courses, that sort of thing, they're doing social distancing. So you can read into that as far as what that might mean for school going forward. But right now, distance learning is what we're doing, and we have to do the best we can with that. And the best we can isn't necessarily the best we could do if things were, for lack of a better term, normal. I don't feel like I'm doing the same job of teaching, talking to you through the computer, posting screencasts, creating detailed examples, posting things online. I'm not the same teacher as I would be with you in the classroom. I can't answer your questions the same way. I can't support and encourage you the same way. Um, you're probably grateful you're not getting any extra orth spiels or speeches. But at the same time, uh, some of you might have found that those are some of the things that actually stick with you longest from the class and from your time with me. So we're going to do the best we can with that. And part of doing the best you can is to admit when you're struggling. A number of you, you started off pretty well the first week or so, and last week things kind of didn't come together as far as getting all your work turned in. Some of you are reaching out with some emails. Some of you, you didn't log in for the entire week. So if you're seeing this today, I hope you're ready to commit to giving another shot at that. Please, please, please let me know where you're at. Let me know how you're struggling. If things are great, wonderful. You can let me know that too. I'm not going to put out a mass email that requires you to send me an email back, um, but I really would like to know how you're doing. If things are great, if things are tough, if, if things are challenging with you and your folks, if your sibling's driving you crazy, if you're really excited to have all as much time to play basketball outside uh, that you ordinarily wouldn't, fantastic. I'd just like to know how you're doing. In terms of helping you out, though, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm going to have a Zoom help session from 1045 to 1130. I've set that up primarily for helping students in my literary arts classes doing research. Comm students, if you want to check in with that too, or a different time, send me an email and I'll happily reply to that and either get you set up as part of that Zoom call. Or if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, check-in and clarification, happily will help you with that. Also, it's my intent to by tomorrow, Tuesday, to post some quote-unquote emergency options for catching up. So for students who are struggling who aren't really able to catch up, Right now, feeling overwhelmed, feeling like maybe it's impossible to do what we need to do. I'm gonna break things down into a more condensed format, focusing just on the basic skills, because my big concern right now is that you're gonna head into next school year, not having the skills you need to be successful for the long run. So I'm gonna to try to break it down for you in such a way that you can show me some work and we can move from there, as opposed to feeling like you have so many things but that you're behind on, you can't possibly catch up, you don't know where to start. It's the same kind of conversation I'd have with you individually in the classroom if you were willing to come to me and let me know how you're doing. So please, reach out to me this week. Let me know where things are at. Let me know if things are great. But if you need help, please let me know that. But I'll say it every week and I mean it. You've got this and I've got you. I have your back. I will support you. I will encourage you. I'll lift you up. I'll help you figure a way out. I'll help you put things in order. I want the best for you because I care about you, I love you, and I miss you. And I really do hope to see you soon.